Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and today we're gonna cook chicken again, but it's not what you think. Stick around. So today we are going to take the OMMO air fryer. We're gonna get a whole chicken and put it in the rotisserie and cook it. And I'm hoping for some great results here. Stick around. So here it is. We have a Purdue whole young chicken. This is 5.66 pounds. Now I've heard some conflicting information like four pounds is the sweet spot for the air fryer. I've heard some people say five to six pounds with five being optimal. This is 5.66 pounds. First thing I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna bore you with the details, is I'm gonna open this up, uh, rinse it and pat it dry, and then we'll be back to season it. Okay, so I am gonna put some extra virgin olive oil on this. You don't have to, but I like to. I like the taste, it's got good fat in it, and it's gonna help the spices stick a little better. So uh, I'm gonna overdo it a little bit, but I wanna get into all the nooks and crannies on this bird, and I'll probably have to add more as I go. All right, that actually was more than enough oil. Okay, for seasoning, I have my own mix. This is a cup and a half of pink Himalayan salt, a cup of ground pepper, and it's got a half a cup of granulated garlic along with some uh, uh, cayenne red pepper and a little smoked paprika. So I'm gonna put this all over the chicken, and I'm also going to put some rosemary leaves. I like the, the scent uh, of the rosemary and the taste for that matter, so I'll be adding some of that as well. Now for the rosemary. A lot of this is gonna fall off, so I'm not too worried about if it looks like it's too much right now. Some people may think I'm overkilling here, but uh, that's okay. All right, made a nice good mess there. Now, here's the fun part. I'm gonna tie this chicken. I've never tied a chicken before, so I'm sure I'm gonna screw it up and I'm sure someone's gonna make some suggestions here. But normally I just do kebabs on the rotisserie. I have never done a whole chicken on the rotisserie. I've done a whole chicken in the regular air fryer, which turns out great. So um, I'm gonna um, just kind of speed along with this. I've got uh, some, I guess, uh, cooking twine here. It's about four to five times the length of the chicken itself. And uh, well, here goes nothing. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Hopefully it stays together. I see I have some loose, so I'm gonna have to fix that up. The next thing to do is I'm gonna tuck the wings under the bird. And hope that those stay. And next up, we're gonna put this on the uh, spigot rod. Okay, one of the strings were a little loose, so I just crossed the string here. Again, first time tying a chicken. Not perfect, but not uh, terrible either. Now we are gonna put the rod and the pokers at the end of this, so let's get those. Okay, here's the uh, rod itself and the two end pokers. We'll see how this uh, decides to cooperate. That went in pretty easily. I'm gonna get these spears here and now I need to make sure that this chicken stays center in the air fryer oven because it's probably not going to be a, a lot of room for uh, this to work so let's get this on here should have probably have put one side on first before I pop that in that's all right live and learn tighten that up I'll stick that through I'm gonna move end up moving this this is just to get it going so once I get that up, here's the other one. And I gotta see where the best part to kind of spear this so that it will not loosen up. Okay, tighten this side up. And as mentioned, I'm gonna go to this side and now push it more in here. They sure make it look easy when you're watching something like this on TV, right? But this is reality, folks. Chicken looks 
pretty centered. Um, some of the spices fell off the sides as I was working this, so I'm gonna kind of push that all around. But here we go, here's the chicken. All right, let's get to preheating the oven. Okay, we're gonna preheat this, uh, specifically because it's rotisserie. I am gonna hit the power button. I'm gonna hit the rotisserie button. It's gonna default to 400, which is fine. I'm gonna hit the rotisserie spinning, which you see it's blinking now with it. And we're gonna cook this f anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. So, uh, you know, it's bigger than the last bird I did in the regular air fryer. So I'm gonna give this maybe five minutes or so to heat up. Um, and the temperature at 400 again was fine. So we'll be back shortly to pop in the chicken. Okay, this has had about seven minutes to preheat. So I'm gonna use uh, the rotisserie handle here. Now, I don't have to for the first time around since the uh, chicken is cold. However, just to get into practice, this doesn't have the nice handle like the go -wise does, but let's see what happens. To remind you, there is two pieces. If you look here, there's that uh, little groove. That goes on the right side. Uh, on my go eyes, it was the opposite. And this side will go where the motor is. So you're gonna slip this side in, put it in an angle, do a little magic show. Let's see how this uh, works out for me. I think without the nicer handle, it's gonna be a little odd, but we'll see. Pop it in there. Uh, I gotta put in the motor side first, excuse me, left side. There we go on and hopefully we don't have to adjust the chicken and it'll turn freely yep it looks good it's just barely clearing the bottom and the top so uh we're gonna set this to 45 minutes uh and we'll be back maybe in 30 to see how it's going so a little halftime break um i really want to find like a small turkey but obviously i couldn't find one for the rotisserie and the birds were on the larger side again this was 5.66 pounds i would have preferred to have found a five pound bird and uh, as you'll see later in the video i mentioned that it would have been good if i had tied up the legs tighter to each other so they wouldn't have hit the top but uh that's really all i got for you right now let's get back to the cooking okay so it's been 45 minutes so i'm going to wait for the rotisserie to spin in a good position for me to check the temperature so i do not have to pull it up Fortunately, I don't have a good angle, but basically you want to get into the meatiest part, the thigh, and you want about 165 to 170. And I do not think we are ready yet. Nope, we are not. This is only at about 145 degrees right now. So I'm going to let this go an extra 15 minutes. 45 minutes was the starting point for maybe a four and a half five pound bird but this is about a pound heavier so we're gonna let this go another 15 minutes and we'll be back okay just over an hour let's take a look the breast is not in the right position so I'm just gonna turn this on quickly to rotate it where I can take a temperature easier okay let's measure this out get this in the meaty part between the drumstick and the breast in the thigh area is what we want and if we can get 165 plus we're good 165.3 so I would say we're ready to pull this out I am going to use this you could use a pair of uh, large tongs but I want to use this handle to see if it's uh, easy to get out now since the, the motorized size is on the left I want to lift the right side first and then kind of wiggle it out and the bird is spinning round and round there you go look at that bird all right let's get it in the plate and i gotta flip it around as well okay so here's the bird and i'm gonna have to use the tongs anyway because i want it facing the other way see how well i can do this perfect oh look at that that looks awesome so what i'm gonna do once it cools down a little bit is i'll cut the strings and uh, remove the, the rod and the spears there. Now, as uh, Tom Petty would say, uh, the waiting is the hardest part. We actually have to let this sit for 10, 15 minutes so the juices could absorb back into the chicken because we don't want a dry chicken. So we'll see you in a bit.
Okay, we got the 10 minutes for it to cool down. A couple of things I want to point out, or at least one thing. You notice the edges right here, they are a little burnt. That's because they had a tendency of contacting the heating element above. Now, what could we have done differently? I think it was pretty much centered because it was not even touching the bottom. We just had a little bit of space. We could have done two things. We could have got a smaller bird, five pounds, or we could have got another piece of string or tied it better in my case and just tucked these in closer so they would not have touched the element. So what I'm going to attempt to do is to cut this and uh, lay it out. Got to find a joint here to remove it. Somewhat successful. Do the other side. Cutting chicken is not my forte. Yeah. Let's get that off. Another drumstick. And we've got the wings here. I'm gonna cut into that. Get that out. Oh, this one just kind of fell off on its own. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down the middle. And once I get down the middle, I'm gonna go off to the side because you got like the, the backbone there. Again, I am not a professional with this. Ooh, the skin, the best part. That's what everybody's gonna be fighting for. It's all mine. Okay. Now it looks like this could be, no, that's cooked. There might be a couple of red spots in there. However, some of this is going to end up in um, like a soup. So if there is a little bit here, which I don't think there is. Ooh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Still hot. There we go. And this you could even cut in half here as well. And my dog can smell what's going on here. I'm worried because I don't want to slip with this knife. I'm sure someone's going to point out something I'm doing wrong, so I'll prepare for that. It's another nice piece right here. Again, I could cut this in half if I wanted. Put those in the dish. While I'm at it, I will take out the other piece that I did and put that in there. Now there's still more meat on this carcass here, but uh, I'm going to leave it as is for now. And I will come back and get the rest of the chicken off this because we do not want to throw out this chicken. Okay, so I will take a wing. I am going to take a drumstick and I'll take a small piece of chicken breast with the skin on it. We're gonna kind of weigh this out as I usually do for myself. Okay so here's my plate right there. Uh, I'm not sure where I want to start but I like wings these days so I'm gonna try the wing first. Holy cow, that is delicious. I want to venture to say that it tastes better when I just do wings in the air fryer. It has a lot of taste. It's super juicy too. I was worried that I had overcooked it. Uh, I had cooked it like a, an hour and five minutes or so, but that's because I opened the oven a few times because I had to check the temperature because this is a, a new experiment for me. But man, wow, that's juicy. And delicious but there was more prep time involved longer to cook and then the cool down then you got to cut it okay that was the wing now my favorite of all time was at one point the drumstick but I've kind of ventured more towards the wing but we've got a massive drumstick here so I need to taste that that is friggin delicious Wow. 
I think I'm gonna be doing rotisserie chicken far more often. It's so juicy. It's not like I'm saying, oh, this is great. This is... No, this is tastes amazing. It's really good. Um, I'm being stared at by my daughter because she sees the skin and stuff. Here's a, a good piece of skin. Now the skin isn't as crisp. And uh, on that note, someone got all huffy about me saying crisp so many times in my last video. Well, I like crisp and other people want to know how crispy it is. So I'm not going to stop saying crisp, but here's a piece of skin. It's good. It's just not as crisp. Okay. Now I got the chicken breast. Let me take that out. For the people who hate me licking my fingers or talking with my mouth full. Okay, excuse me. So, uh, amazing. Uh, I've gotten rotisserie chicken. Like, you go to BJ's or Costco, it's like $5, you get a rotisserie chicken. Thing is, you don't know what they inject that with, extra what makes it look plump or whatever. Um, so the chicken, when you buy it like this, is a little more money, plus you have to cook it. But I don't ever recall a Costco or BJ's rotisserie chicken tasting this good and this juicy. Granted, I cut it up 10 minutes after cooking and ate it, so that's probably at its peak tastiness. But that just goes to show you. Uh, wow. Um, my favorites. Uh, the drumstick and the wing were probably as equally as good as anything else. The breast was good, but it didn't have a lot of, of flavor. It's probably because I ate the skin separately. If I had the, the skin with it, it was still juicy. But I'll tell you, that drumstick was, and the wing for that matter, was amazing. So, um, highly recommend it. Uh, you know, maybe 10 minute prep, uh, preheat the uh, air fryer rotisserie, uh, an hour plus to cook for a five and a half pound bird. I will recommend a five pound bird. Um, and you know an hour to cook 10 minutes to set so you're talking about an hour and a half of work but a delicious rotisserie chicken unbelievable I'm, I'm actually surprised I'm this happy with the way it came out I still got to cut some of the chicken because that's the first time I've ever cut a chicken like that so I missed a lot of chicken so I know some of you might say oh my god look at all the chicken you didn't cut out. no I'll trust me I'll begin that because we're gonna actually be putting that in a soup as well so I might stick that whole thing in the uh, in the pot when we cook soup and that'll just fall right off the bone anyway um again thank you very much for watching uh I, this was really successful i'm actually pretty excited about this uh again a shout out to the uh the marketing group for ommo who reached out to me with this air fryer we use this every day and i will say that i like it better than the go wise for several reasons which i mentioned in my last video you can catch that um, and it's bigger capacity. 12 wings fit with room to spare. I could probably put more than 12 wings. Maybe I could put 15 wings. Uh, and I've learned to fine tune it quickly because I've learned from the go eyes. Anyway, folks, that's all I got for you today. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you know when I put out a new video. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to unplug your air fryer, folks. I'll do it later. I'm gonna eat first. some of that crispiness on the base of the wing. We'll see you later, folks. Thank you very much.